Um, so what I normally do is I have chats with CMOs, uh, long form. Okay. Today the FEs asked me to come and have a chat with everyone that's here. Okay. Winner, not a winner. Okay. Uh, people in the industry. Okay. Make so I saw you were scooping stuff. Make everyone feel. Yeah. yeah. So I saw you were scooping stuff. Thank <laughs> you. Um, and I like to believe that your work is ideas that actually work. Yeah. Um, do you want to tell me about, it? like, firstly, maybe introduce yourself and what you do. Okay. Um, and then tell me about the work that you actually scooped some awards for. Yes. Okay. Uh, Ramona Kaimbe, I'm head of brand on Google Books Pizza and Black Cloud at SAB. And tonight we scooped awards for our um, very brave, I would call it brave work. Around she Bean, which was a women's only bar, yeah. which we launched in August 2023. I saw that. Yes. Amazing. It's no secret that women are under siege here in South Africa. We can't just keep saying enough is enough. There's obviously a sickness in the society. According to South African police stats, more than 70 women have been raped in Shabins in the past three months alone. Traditionally, we understand Shabins as establishments that are drinking spots, mainly for men. We wanted to create a safe space for women. And so what we did was flip the Shabin on its head and we created Brutal Fruit she A world where women can gather and enjoy themselves without being objectified. Oh, the atmosphere is beautiful. They've completely transformed the space. Brutal Fruit's positioning is you belong. We wanted to demonstrate that by reclaiming a dangerous place for women. We saw an opportunity working with the Brutal Fruit team and have identified a criteria that rewards outlets that champion women's safety in terms of not only the, the woman coming to an outlet, but also feeling safe. We are currently activating uh, the program in outlets across South Venues Africa. around the country will be graded according to their levels of safety for women. So the ripple effect of We're not safe. So any initiative that seeks to create a safer space for women is really welcome. For Women's Month, South African breweries have set up a venue. So you say, is it work that, is it, you know, work that worked and yeah. it has an impact i would love to believe so and i could see it in the response that we got in. the overwhelming uh, impact it had on on women mm. and just shining a spotlight in, um mm. in what we know to be a very unsafe space mm. um and really celebrating creating a space for belonging a space for celebration and a space for uh, where you could really feel like you, you could be um, free and of yourself mm -hmm. without fear of, of ridicule, without fear of judgment, without fear of um, being sexualized, or, um, you know, without feeling like you, you, you can't be your best self. Mm. So we launched it in uh, Women's Month and we ran it for the month of August and <clears throat> what what we did around that was really, you know, say, creating a space that we want was unsafe mm. and making it one of the safest spaces. So I'm, I'm, I'm so interested in the work that you did yeah. because I'll tell you a couple of reasons. I'm sure you've heard these things before. Mm -hmm. Because you work in alcohol. People that don't drink tend to say, but how can alcohol do good? Yeah. Because it's alcohol and you're under the influence and you could do bad things or whatever. Yeah. You said there's a real human truth and insight that exists for women. We sell a beverage that women do enjoy. 
So why can't we create a safe space for them with the beverage so that they can actually enjoy it? Yeah. How easy or difficult was it to sell an idea like that? Because like you said, it's a brave idea. Like, what's the benefit for Airbnb at that point in time when you're like, actually, guys, this is what I want to do. Yeah. And I want to create a safe space for women. Because you can't really quantify it with numbers yeah. at this point, right? How, how, what's that process like? So, the, yeah, the process is, oh, you don't you want to create a space with me, me excluding people. Mm. And we like, and for us, it was really not about excluding people. It's about reminding everyone mm. that actually women in society already play as a inferior role. Yeah. Um, so we know about the gender pay gap. We know about how um, there are certain places where women just can't go because they don't feel comfortable. They yeah. don't feel like space. We know corporate... Yes. Um, in its in and itself, um, trying to climb the corporate ladder has, yeah. has has challenges. So for us, it wasn't about excluding anyone. It was mm. about making fifty percent of the population feel included for once, yeah. and really and really allowing them to feel their most liberated, to feel their most um, celebrated, mm. and and creating a space. And I think that really sold them that. At the core of the brand, it's about creating connections, moments of connections, spaces for connections, and celebrating women mm. um, in all their glory, in yeah. all um, aspects of life, in all walks of life. So yeah. the brand really stands about stands for that, and we do everything we can to remind women that they are um, bosses, that they are celebrated, and then and and that they deserve and belong anywhere and everywhere. Love it. And in that case, and I'm, I mean, you don't have to give me the exact numbers because obviously that's personal information for the business, but what are some of those numbers that look, or what, what do they look like if you look at some of your numbers, whether it's shades, volume, yeah. it could be anything, frequency, penetration, yeah. um, that you've, you've seen grow from taking this angle and direction because you're basically saying, I'm going to own this a space and I'm not going to be shy about it. And it's specifically for women. So I think as any marketer will tell you is once yeah. you once you focus on on your core consumer and yeah. on their true insights and yeah. their needs, yeah. you all your work speaks to that and has an impact because yeah. you're not trying to be all things for people. So we know that our drink and our product is specifically designed for women. Yeah. For women's palettes um, and for uh, their desires and their needs. Yes. So since launching Brutal Foods Pizza, we've seen incremental growth yeah. and really, really growth, not just from a volume and sales perspective, but also from a brand love perspective. Yeah. Um, so the brand has, has proven to be really, really successful. Um, we've grown and moved up the ladder on the Cantor, um, our top South African brands. Lovely. Um, and, you know, you can see it in in um, our social media, how we respond to us on, on, in our community. It really created a, a space where um, women feel like they are seen and that there's actually an alcohol beverage, a long alcohol beverage that speaks to their needs and speaks to their desires. I love that. And you know, when you mentioned social media, I've seen like you've created like a tribe. Yes. Like, and you've got your events and they're all there and everyone feels safe because it's all women. Um, so continue doing the lovely work that you're doing. Um, we're clapping for you. We're rooting for you. And we hope to see more things come your way. Um, and hope to see more ideas that are actually working. Amazing. Thank you so much. Thanks, buddy. Thank you. Thank you.